Let's review putting the bedside commode over the toilet. When you go to do that, you're going to lift both the toilet lid and the toilet seat. Now, when you push this back over the toilet, sometimes you want to push it back further to line up the holes. If you need to do that and you don't have the room, this bar here can be removed. This is uh, to, to kind of protect you when you're using it as a bedside commode, but here you'll have the toilet back for a back support. So this bar can be removed to get it moved back further over the toilet. Now this actually will fit over this without me removing it. I have adjusted it for the appropriate height, so I'm going to put it right back over the toilet toilet here and then I'm going to lift the seat. I'm going to put the make sure that the splash guard is in there and you're going to put that right down into the toilet right so it's down into the toilet and put the seat back down. As a caregiver giving someone verbal cues on how to use a bedside commode frame over the toilet um, if they come into the bathroom whether they're on a walker or not they're going to back up to the toilet until they feel that at the back of their legs. You're going to ask them to reach back one hand at a time to the bedside commode frame and assist in lowering themselves down onto it. Now once they, when they go to get up, you're going to want to give them verbal cues to scoot forward so that we're getting our weight forward. We're going to push up with our hands, bringing our head and shoulders forward, coming up and grabbing the walker one hand at a time. So that's how you use the um, bedside commode frame over the toilet, giving someone verbal cues in doing so. Take a look at the comments section below for further details.